guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have my makeup collection. This has been so, so requested by you guys, so I finally have filmed it and got it all sorted. I'm really happy with my makeup collection at the moment. I'm not bragging about the amount of makeup I have. I know I have a lot of makeup, some people have more, some people have less. Um, the majority of it has been bought by myself or given to me as birthday presents and Christmas presents over the past few years. So, let's get on with the video and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so this is my dressing table. Hi guys in the mirror. This chair, this is from Argos, you can still get it now. There are two sets of the Alex drawers, there and there. Um, they're just the Alex 5 in white. Okay, as for this area, so my big mirror here is from Ikea again. It's the same. Then I also have this little mirror here, which is from Asda, and this actually holds all of my like most worn jewellery. So my most worn necklace, rings, and earrings that I switch up on quite a regular basis. I then have this here, which contains all of the cotton pads that I use. I have two perfumes: the next just pink, which is my favourite, and Vera Wang Princess. Inside I have my big face makeup brushes. These glass jars are from Tiger. Um, so yeah, I have my main face brushes, and then here I have my eye brushes, including my eyelash curler, consist of Spectrum, and Real Techniques, and then a few of my eye brushes are like Lydia Professionals, but most are like Spectrum, and then this is a Beauty Muse Pro eyelash curler. Okay, so looking over here, I have my Babyless Straightness, which are just on this little heat-proof mat, and then I have some sunflowers and roses and flowers that I got for doing my GTSEs. I have a cute little mug and then some fake flowers. I have main hair grips, um, bun pins, not bum, and just earring cases behind that. I have my jewellery box in here, which just contains less worn jewellery, but stuff that I still use on a less regular basis. Some tissues, cup of tea on a coaster, and then just like my planner and that general stuff. So this container here is from Ikea, I think. It's just like a cutlery or a bathroom container. This container is also from Ikea, this was from the bathroom section. And then this is just an old cotton pad drawer container thing. At the back here I just have some Lacora travel wipes which are really nice. I use them a lot for just like cleaning my hands and stuff. I have my favourite BB cream, this is the Garnier Skin Active BB cream in light. I use that in the summer a lot. I then have my Too Faced Born This Way foundation which is too dark. Um, it's in the shade Ivory but it's too dark so I need to get a light, like a white foundation that I can mix it with. Also, speaking of foundations, these three are like my favourite ones. So I have my all-time favourite, the Revlon Colourstay. I have the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. And I also have the Bourjois Healthy Mix. So then in this container, I have my powders. So I have the Makeup Revolution Bake and Finish. Um, I then have this, which is baby powder. I have the Maybelline Matte Maker. Um, which I really like. This is in Classic Ivory. Then here are my concealers. So I have the Rimmel Match Perfection in 10 Ivory. I have the L'Oreal True Match in 1N. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 5. The Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in C1. And the Bourjois Healthy Mix in, again, the lightest shade. Favourites, I would say, are... These three, these are my all-time favourites. So then this bit here are like all my primers. So I have a Mini Benefit Professional, MAC Prep and Prime, L'Oreal Infallible, uh, the Studio 10 Highlighting one. that's my favourite. Then I have my two sprays. So I have the Mario Badescu Face Spray and the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. Okay, so this is the second drawer. This container is also from Ikea. We got this from the kids section, if that helps you guys. I have the Zoeva Spring Strobe Spectrum Palette. Really pretty highlighters. My favourite are these two. They're really good for like eyebrow and inner corner highlight. Um, I then have the Tiny Burr Cosmetics Peachy Glow Palette. I love this highlight. It's so pretty. Then below that I have my Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold. And it's just super, super super pretty colours. So here are all my blushes, um, I don't actually have that many. I have the Soap and Glory Glow All Out, which is a highlight but it's basically a blusher on me. Makeup Re Revolution Baked Blush in Bang Bang, You're Dead. I have this Makeup Revolution Baked Blush in Hard Day, and then I have the Sleek Blush in Rose Gold. My contour sticks, so I have a collection Precision Contour in 
dark three. And then I have these two Studio London ones, which I don't know the colours. These are my like liquid highlight kind of thing. So I have the Barry M Liquid Chrome Highlighter Drop. I don't know what shade, which is so nice for like um, your collarbone or your shoulders. I have the Collection Speedy Highlighter, which again is really nice for that. I have the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlight in the shade is rubbed off. I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Then here are like my bronzers and contours. So I have the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. As you can see, I have hit pan on three. They are my three favourite shades. The Wet n Wild Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. The Benefit Hula Bronzer, which is my favourite. Then here are my main highlighters. I have the Urban Decay Naked Illuminate in, is it Aura? Yeah, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Ocean Baked Highlighter. I'm not sure the shade, it doesn't say. I have my Pride and Glory, the Chanel Highlight in number 10. It's like gold or something, and it is so pretty. And yes, I keep it in its little sleeve because it's just too cute not to. And this section, again, this container is also from Ikea. I have the MUA Silent Disco Palette, which is so cool, but I just save this for like Halloween and stuff. I don't use it that often. Um, I then have... The Makeup Revolution, I don't even know the name, but just this gorgeous palette, which I love. The Makeup Revolution Soap palette, the first one. I don't have the second. Then here I have all my single eyeshadows. I have MAC Floof. I have Maybelline Colour Tattoo in On and On Bronze. I have this MUA eyeshadow in Platinum. The Makeup Revolution Mono eyeshadow in Paper Luxe. And then these are like my glittery ones. I have the NYX Glitter Brilliance in number 7. Barry M Dazzle Dust in 39, which is pink. Barry M Dazzle Dust in 24, which is like a gold. And then I have the Stila, Stila Glitter and Glow in Kitten Karma. For these palettes, I have the Lancome Sensational Effects Eyeshadow, which I, every time I talk about this, I always say these two and these two are my favourites, but... Probably would say those two are my main favourite. I have the Morphe 12S palette, which is so pretty. My favourites would be probably these three and this one. Face Natural Eyes palette, which obviously you can see that is one of my mains. I use that to set my eyeshadow, but then I also love Classic and Cashmere Bunny. So I have here... All of these containers are from Ikea, these were all from the bathroom section, and then this is again another cotton pad container, not cotton pad, cotton bud. So here I just have all my lip balms, I have um, three extracts and then two Nivea. So here I have all of my like, oh that shouldn't be there, liquid lipstick type thing, type of brands I have, I have the Bourjois Rouge, Rouge Edition Velvet in 31, Collection Velvet Kiss in Caramel something, the Manhattan, Manhattan Soft Matte Lip Cream in 95M, I have Rimmel Matte Apocalypse, I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Berlin, Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour in Eternity, I have the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in Hustle, Leek Matte Mies, I have them in the shade, shade Rioja Red, <laughs> and Velvet Supper, so as you can see, most of them are like kind of like brownie pink kind of colours. Then I have my lip liners and lip crayons. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Gel Lip Colour in 700, which is my current favourite lip product. The other lip crayon I have is the L'Oreal Glam Shine Lip Gloss in 910. I then have four True Lips lip liners. As you can see, this one is my favourite. I also can't tell you the shade because it's been sharpened off. I have 58, 46 and 50. Collection one in Caramel Nougat. Oh, it's not Caramel. I don't know what it is, actually. I have this collection one in Nude Pink. Aha, this is number two. I have four sleek lip liners. I have I have Sugared Apple, Shabby Sheet, Raspberry and Currant. I also have this Primark Lip Crayon. In, in brown and my all-time favorite lip liner which is the MUA intense color in the shade caramel nougat I then have my lip glosses so I have the natural collection lip gloss in caramel shortcake the number seven BB lips in ballerina L'Oreal glam shine in 800 and L'Oreal dazzle in disco ball so then this section here is all of my lipsticks these this container is from Primark and it contains all of my MAC lipsticks and then my YSL and my favourite L'Oreal. So I have MAC Taupe, Whirl, Velvet Teddy, Syrup, Spirit, Peach Blossom and Verve. 
So they are all my MAC lipsticks. YSL Rouge Voluct in the shade 47, which smells incredible. It's quite pink though. L'Oreal Color Riche in Nude Gold, which is one of my favorite lip products ever. A L'Oreal in 233. Two Makeup Revolution ones. Fake Lip VIP Lipstick in Walk of Fame. MUA Shade 11. Um, Makeup Gallery number four. Makeup Gallery number two. Makeup Revolution in Encore. MUA, whoops, MUA in Raven, and Rimmel Kate Moss in 48. So this drawer I just like to call like spares and skincare. So I have all of my skincare stuff, Garnier, Micellar Cleansing Water, Nivea, Sensitive Cleansing Milk, my deodorant, I have a mini thingy, my moisturiser, um, Suda Creme, my spot stick, my eye cream, Hydrocortisone, another spot thing. Um, then I have spare cotton pads, shampoo and conditioner, nose strips, spare razors, shampoo, um, sun cream, just all of that kind of stuff. Here I just have my sponge. I keep it in here so I don't get my dressing table really mucky. Um, but yeah, this is just a Studio Pro Precision Sponge. So at the back here, this container again from Ikea, I have a little sponge thing. I have my Duo Lash Glue. I have the Ardell Wispies. I have a spare Studio Pro Precision Sponge. I have this, I think it's Primark, yeah, Primark Eyebrow Trimmers. I have this, these tweezers, I don't know where they're from. I have this spot popper thing I got from TK Maxx. I have a razor, don't judge me, but this is so useful when I've got loads of hairs beneath my eyebrow. I don't use it above, I'm not stupid. And then I also have a little spoolie. So here are my eyeliners. I have three sleek pencils. I have Midnight 133, Aubergine 898 and Royal 897. I then have this sleek glitter eyeliner, the sleek dip it eyeliner and the Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Eyeliner in black. The primers which to be honest um this is my least favourite out of them, it's the Makeup Revolution Eye Primer, it's just not sticky enough. This is my favourite, the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in 93, but I've hit the bottom of it and it's dried up so I need to get a new one. Then I have my eyebrow products, I have the Maybelline Brow Satin in Light Blonde, which is ginger so I need to get a dark blonde. Dior Palette Incognito which these three are like perfect like brow highlights and then these two mixed together are my perfect eyebrow shade. I have my favourite eyebrow product, the Freedom Brow Pomade in Blonde and a mini Benefit Gimme Brow in One. So then I have all of my mascaras, a sleek unconditional. Um, I have two Primark ones, I have the Primark False Lash Effect which is my favourite and the Primark Volumizing Mascara which really isn't volumizing at all, it's lengthening. Oh, that needs binning. Um, I then have my Benefit Roller Lash. I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. And then I have four Maybelline mascaras. It's my all-time favorite, the Maybelline Classic Volume Express. I have two of them. Um, and then I have the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious and the just usual Lash Sensational. All of my expensive palettes. So this divider again from Ikea and it contains all of my naked palettes and then I have all my others so going in order I have the Urban Decay like the original naked, the Naked 2, the Naked Smoky which I think has the prettiest packaging but it's probably my least favourite of the Naked palette. And then I also have the Naked Heat. Okay, so then I have these four palettes. So starting from the back, I have my Morphe 35OM palette, which is so pretty. Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, which I have broken on holiday, which is great. But this is one of my favourite palettes at the moment. I've been loving it. I have the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, which is stunning and i have the zoeva cocoa blend palette which i think will be really good for travel because it's really slim but these three shades they are my faves so this drawer is nail varnish and hair kind of stuff two hair brushes don't ask me why i have this little pot full of loom bands but i use it for my hair sometimes but i don't use them that often um i then have bun nets because i need them for 
dance and then I have my hairspray to be honest I don't really like this but I need to use it up <laughs> um then here are all of my nail varnishes so I have quite a few I don't paint my nails that often I love this H&M French manicure that's probably my all-time fave the Rimmel no it's just shade 336 at home um, what else this one I love this is a Polish Limited, I don't, it's from M&S. Um, but yeah, they are just all of my nail varnishes here are my most used. So I have my two clear ones and then my H&M. These are my, I've got whites, pinks and a gold. And then these are my less used ones, um, but they just go in like order. Of, yeah, it's quite cool. Um, I then have the PS Nail Polish Plus Dry Spray and then also this pump nail polish remover. Um, I then have two nail files and some nail clippers, although I like, never use them. Um, I then have a ton of cotton buds here, my after piercing lotion and the gum hair oil. And then at the back here, I just have a Tresemme Keratin Smooth hair thing, my favourite nail varnish remover, which is the Q-Tex Moisture Guard. So then lastly, this drawer is like, again, another spares. Um, I have a spare toothbrush head my travel toothbrush oh this is my fave this is a gel ipad you put it in the freezer for a few minutes and you put it on your eyes and it's so nice so yeah i just have this makeup bag a soap and glory makeup bag and then my most used one for holidays that one all of that jazz so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you again soon with another video bye